Welcome back to Transport Fever. So today I'm just going to do a small one-off build. It's going to be just a little town and with a station in it. And then we're going to do put some roads into the town. I'm going to build, a, I think, a motorway across the top. I've got a new mod that I'm trying out for doing that. I'll show you that when I get to it. So I am going to probably do a few of these videos and just do little builds like this. Just while we're waiting for the new summer update to be released. Hopefully that's coming along very soon. What I don't want to do is start a big new build or a new series and then the summer update come along and then it break all the mods and things like that. And then it also potentially break my app and things like that. So I'm just going to wait. So when I started creating this I was going to actually start in the 1800s. But when I actually put the big main road in I thought this was never going to fit in the 1800s. So I actually changed the year start date to 1950. I didn't want it too modern, I, I wanted it kind of somewhere in the 50s, things like that. So uh, so this is where I've started and as you can see already, I've already started building the actual area. What I did do prior to starting this map was actually just delete all of the industries, the towns, and actually just go through and flatten everything. Just so I didn't have to uh, delete anything as I was putting this road through. I did try and generate the map as flat as possible as well but it still has some hills and things like that in so uh, yeah I've just gone through and deleted all them and like I say flattened everything I think I deleted all the stones and trees and anything that was in the way what I've also done is download a mod called I think it's called road tools I will put a link down in the description for it and what it actually does is build a parallel road so you probably saw me do it actually a little bit earlier in the video but basically what you do you, you build one side of the road and then you say how many other roads parallel you want to it so I'm just gonna do a one-way road on this because I want it to be a uh, two-lane or two-way motorway and then what it does is just add the other road parallel to it so as if you've been watching my Big Bill series, you've probably seen me do is try and attempt to put two rows next to each other, which is sometimes completely impossible just because of the height of the map and things like that. It, uh, it makes it extremely difficult, but that tool makes it extremely easy. So if you do want parallel roads and things like that, I would very much recommend downloading it. So as you can see here, I've already put the, the big main road in. I put a, a little tunnel underneath it and now I'm just going to go and generate the town. So I did generate the smallest town but it was still far too big. I'm sure the last time I generated a small town it was much smaller than that. But what I'm going to do till well I say that I'm just going to get the road correct obviously it's got to be just right. So what I'm going to do yeah is generate a new town as you can just see there and the bits that I don't actually want I'm just going to go and delete them so there's far too many industries and houses and things like that and the train station is just going to go here so one thing I kept having to battle while I was doing this and if I'd, I realised at the time I didn't realise that I was on, not on pause so it kept popping up with roads the city kept building it or the town kept building its own roads so you'll see me put it on pause in a second. I only wanted a really small station as well because I didn't feel like a big station was probably needed for this sort of little town. Okay, nice little road popping up again. And then all I want the track to do is just kind of curve off and go parallel to the uh, road that we have down there. So when I first started this little build, I didn't really have a plan on what I wanted it to be like. It kind of just ended up looking like it does. So I'm just putting a smaller road next to that as well. What I did want is, is a small road next to that. And what I probably will do if I carry on with this little map and this little build is just put some sort of way of getting from that smaller road onto the big main motorway. 
not quite sure where I'd do that at the minute. Probably up there. Because I've not actually... Although I've put that big main motorway in. It doesn't actually connect to anything at the minute. It's just a random road. One other, th other thing I wanted to do as well. Is actually have quite a steep... Kind of ramp up to the... To the main road. So as you can see there it's... It is quite steep. What I didn't want to do sometimes... Or what, what happens if you just use the smoothing tool. It kind of just smooths it completely flat or a, so it's a real gentle incline which is not really what I wanted but I think it actually turned out pretty well as it is for the painting of the ground I'm just going to use the I think it's the cut grass one that I used there didn't although it's cut grass it actually still looks uh, it looks still looks like grass. It doesn't look like it's completely flat. You can still see some of the grass poking through, which is what I wanted. I think when you use the uh, the main rough grass one, it does look a little bit scruffy. So this is the fence I went with. So the fence that I actually wanted was I don't think it has, or it's one that you have to place individually. So because I didn't want to fit pace every single little effect piece of fence individually I'm just going to use the tool use this fence still looks pretty good possibly would have been better if you could color the fence maybe if it was bright white or something like that but like I say this one looks perfectly fine like I said I didn't want these area look to look too modern I wanted it to look a little bit old one thing I did want to do as well, or will probably do, is add a little bit more detail around this bit here. So you will see me come back and put a fence a little bit later on. I do put a, I think, a pickup truck there. Possibly need to come back and then maybe add a few lights and benches and things like that. So as you can see, just add a little bit of a different fence around that bit and around this bit. So I'm not quite sure where I'm going to connect all this track up to and because this, the map I'm using is only a really small map I think it's only got three cities on it so I could possibly could use this as the central hub or I could even do like a big circle round just do one track that connects this city or this town to the next one and go round, curve round to the third one So here I'm just going to create a little field. So again, this is a mod that I'm using here just to create this field. Didn't work out very well initially. As you can see, it was trying to make the, the ground flat underneath it. Which didn't work very well because it had a giant step in it, as you can see there. So uh, what I thought I could do is just smooth that out, but didn't seem to want to do that. So they had to go. Just re add them in. What it does then do, I think, I think because the ground's not exactly flat, it does kind of cut into the ground a little bit, but I actually quite like that. And as part of this mod, you can actually have various different things. So, this just a plain soya one. The one that I've placed there is corn, I believe. So, what I'm going to do is just do what I've done there, so put some corn down, a bit of dirt around the edge, and then I'm just going to go and paint the soil in around the edge. Then just to finish this little area off, I'm just going to tidy up the uh, painting, just like so, and then just add in a little bit of a bush that goes down the side there. What I probably could have done is add another bush, just to split up the fields, because I think that's normally when you see fields and things like that, they normally are split up with hedges and, and stuff like that. Possibly another thing that I could have done. I'm not quite sure what I would do without the this fence tool because it is really fantastic. I hope the devs decide to add it in as an actual tool into the game because it is really useful and just brings you kind of builds to life a little bit. 
as you can see there I didn't want the rock around the edge of the tunnel so just gone and painted that over with some dirt just to make it look a little bit nicer and then just to finish this area off a little bit just a few trees just to make it again look a bit nicer so I'm not really sure what I could have done extra with that station I possibly could have added like say a few more trees and rocks and things like that don't think I have many little props to add around like that so maybe I need to be looking on the store just for a few more props to add around the station possibly will have a bus stop outside of it eventually as well just so where you can catch the bus to the station if you need to although because the town is so small I'm guessing at the minute you can walk other people will walk from from anywhere so what I was going to add in just down there is maybe for road signs I don't actually have the mod turned on for road signs so uh, I just left that for now I can always come back and do that at a later date if I carry on with this and then just add a, a few rocks around although I'm not sure if the rocks actually look any good so possibly we'll come back and delete them and that's this week's episode so thanks everyone for watching i hope you enjoyed this little build I probably will do in a few more of them over the next few weeks and certainly to the new update drops if you've got any ideas on builds i should try please leave them in the comments below i can certainly have a go at building something i am planning on a new mods video soon as well so if you've got any mods that you think should be included in that again please drop them in the comments below to make sure you don't miss the next series when it's released and any future videos please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell to receive a notification every, every time I upload a video. If you've not seen any of my big build series, why not go and check that out? You never know, you might get some ideas from it for your own builds. And again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.